Henry Gant was the first protege and then associate of Frederick W. Taylor. Gant is best known for the Gant chart, but he also made significant contributions to management with respect to pay for performance plans and training and development of workers. A Gantt chart is a graphical chart that shows which tasks must be completed at which times in order to complete a project or a task. As shown here, a Gantt chart visually indicates what tasks must be completed at what time in order to complete a project. It accomplishes this by showing times in various units on the x-axis and tasks on the y-axis. Though simple and straightforward, Gantt charts were revolutionary in the area of seat-of-the-pants management because of the detailed planning information they provided. As Gantt wrote, by using the graphical forms, its, the Gantt chart's value, is very much increased for the general appearance of the sheet is sufficient to tell how closely the schedule is being lived up to, in other words, whether the plant is being run efficiently or not. Gantt said, such sheets show at a glance where the delays occur and indicate what must have our attention in order to keep the proper output. The use of Gantt charts is so widespread today that nearly all project management software and computer spreadsheets have the capability to create charts that track and visually display the progress being made on a project. Finally, Gantt, along with Taylor, was one of the first to strongly recommend that companies train and develop their workers. In his work with companies, he found that workers achieved their best performance level if they were trained first. At the time, however, supervisors were reluctant to teach workers what they knew for the fear that they would lose their jobs to more knowledgeable workers. Gantt overcame the supervisor's resistance by rewarding them with bonuses for properly training all of their workers. Gantt's approach to training was straightforward. A scientific investment in the detail of each piece of work and determination of the best method and the shortest time in which the work could be done. A teacher capable of teaching the best method and the shortest time. A reward for both the teacher and the pupil when the latter was successful. Modern Gantt charts also show the dependency relationships between activities and current schedule status.